Hi, this is the Business Breakfast. Welcome. Um, this is, we're here today at St John's Calling. Archbishop Justin's coming here to St John's to speak to local community leaders and business leaders in this area. We're so excited to share with him all that he has to say to us today. In your huge responsibilities in many cases, local responsibilities in others, just things you have to do day to day. Leading a country and an area that's gone through a hard time now needs to recover. Open your hearts to the resources of God. And as you do so, you will find what Desiree finds. The peace of God, the strength of God, the power of God. So our students have been really excited in the build-up. Um, the different events that they've taken part in this morning, um, they've asked lots of interesting, challenging questions. They're very proud to have represented the local community and really grateful to the Archbishop for giving his time and visiting our schools. <laughs> Daisy and in the chapel service where the Archbishop of Canterbury asked our question, answered our questions, I asked a question um, actually from the song Hymn by Lily Allen and I asked two questions, uh, one asking would God if you were around today and kind of in person uh, would he be skint or financially secure and he answered skint um, and because of the the way Jesus sort of um, said that we didn't need a home, we didn't need a place. And um, I also asked, come election time, who would he vote for? And um, he didn't really have an answer, but he kind of explained the, um, what God stood for. Liberation to live as we ought, knowing that we are loved by God, and with that love we love others, and that love is infinite, Liberation from guilt because all our sins have been paid for and liberation from fear of the future and anxiety about the future because we know it is in the hands of God. So my prayer for us as a diocese is that we continue to be encouraged in, is that in our mission and evangelism ministry across all the parishes and chaplaincies and schools that we serve and that this uh, event will be a catalyst for us as we come out of the pandemic to keep reaching out with the gospel of love. And the Roman Church will keep going, because God's in charge. I suppose the two things that I will remember particularly is a full chapel at Ford Prison this morning, with us all singing together, um, saying sorry to God and receiving God's forgiveness together, each of us. And also last night, gathering with the community in Lewis on the bridge, to pray for our brothers and sisters in the Ukraine and all those who are so on our hearts and minds at the moment. And the words of peace and hope and reconciliation that the Archbishop sought to speak into a nervous world. A weekend like no other in a diocese that clearly has a vision to serve God with all the problems, listening to clergy, who are giving their all in the service of Christ. It has been memorable, beautiful, inspiring and uplifting. Thank you, Chichester Diocese. What a wonderful weekend it's been. Archbishop Justin has shared his faith with us. He's encouraged our faith 
And he's also shown us how faith can be nurtured in other people. These are wonderful evangelistic gifts. And he's also told us how much he has discovered that is good and beautiful and wonderful in the Diocese of Chichester. Thank you, Archbishop Justin. We are so encouraged.